so as promised in the last lecture we'll discuss two questions how to find moment about the mean and about the arbitrary point here and using the relation we can find the moment about the origin also so let us move on i am here back again to understand few question on moment so that you will be able to make out how to find the three moments that is moment about the mean about the arbitrary point and about the origin for any question so we'll take two questions let us move on and go to the very first question let us understand the question we have to calculate what do we have to calculate the first four moments and we have to calculate these first four moments about the mean and it is for the following data the data is given here okay so let us move on quickly and make the table because we have to make the table in order to find it i am writing the values of x here so it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 this is i just copied it down and then the value of f and it is 1 8 28 56 70 and the number is repeating again 56 28 8 and 1 okay now we have to find moment about the mean we need the value of mean how do we find mean what is the formula for finding the mean let us write it here mean is equal to sigma x into f upon sigma f okay now let us find the value of x multiplied by f so 0 into 1 0 then 8 then 56 then it is 168 then it is 280 then again 280 and then 168 then 56 and 8 so what do we got sigma xi fi is equal to sum it up and write the answer it is xi fi is 1024 similarly we will find the value of sigma fi and this will come out to be 256 now it is time to find the value of mean how do we denote mean mean is denoted by x bar okay so let us write the value of um, sigma xi fi it is 1024 upon this is the value which we calculated then sigma f it is 256 let us write the answer it has come out to be 4 so our mean is 4 that is we have to find the moment about 4 because we have to find moment about the mean so let us find the value of x minus 4 x minus 4 what is x 0 minus 4 is minus 4 1 minus 4 is minus 3 similarly 2 minus 4 minus 2 and minus 1 then 4 minus 4 0 and then similarly we have 1 2 3 and 4 okay let us find the value of f into x minus 4 to find the first moment so we have f as 1 1 into minus 4 and what do we get it is minus 4 then minus 24 then minus 56 then again minus 56 then 0 obviously anything multiplied by 0 56 and then this will repeat again right in order to find the second moment we need f x minus 4 square so this is our x minus 4 square it and multiply by f we'll get 16 i'm writing it quickly then 112 then 56 then 0 you also do it and let me know whether it is correct or not let us move again in order to find the third moment what do we need we need f x minus 4 cube x minus 4 is this 4 so it is minus 64 then minus 216 then minus 224 then minus 56 and this one obviously 0 and 56 224 216 and 64 lastly x minus 4 to the power 4 in order to find the fourth moment and it is 256 648 448 56 0 and then again 56 448 648 
and 256. Okay. Now, our task is to sum it up. Let us find the sigma value that is sigma f x minus 4 add everything see 56 minus 56 whatever term is there its negative term is also there. So, what will be the value? It will be 0. You may write the value before I write here in the chat and check it out whether it is correct or not. So, sum it up we will get sigma as 512 similarly sigma f this one is square so correct it f x minus 4 cube and this will come out to be c it is 56 minus 56 224 minus 224 216 minus 216 64 and minus 64 so this will be 0 so next one that is this one i am writing it little below so it is sigma f x minus 4 to the power 4 what will this come out to be we have to write the value of summation sigma so it is 2816 students you may use change of origin also here in order to reduce the calculation in order to reduce calculation you can change the origin but accordingly the formula will also change okay so we are moving again we have the formula of mu r as sigma f i hope you remember mu r is used for moment about the mean so x minus x bar what is x bar x bar is the mean to the power r upon sigma f this is the formula this general formula okay so we'll find the value of mu 1 and you all know it is 0 okay it is 0 we can always write it 0 but you can check it out here by checking it out here what is good about it you will get to know whether your calculation your multiplication your addition is correct or not so sigma f x minus x bar is coming out to be 0 yes so this is 0 upon sigma f which is 0 obviously it means that here our calculation is correct let us move to mu 2 let us write the formula of mu2 i have written the formula of mu2 and what is x sigma f x minus 4 square it is 512 and what is sigma f it is 256 okay so i am writing 256 it is coming out to be 2 so mu2 is 2 moving on to mu3 i am writing the formula it is x minus x bar whole cube upon sigma f let us see what is the value of sigma f x minus 4 q this is 0 again so i am writing it 0 upon 256 and the answer is 0 let us move on to mu 4 write the formula for mu 4 okay put the value for mu 4 and we got here 2816 so 2816 upon 256 divide it and tell me the answer this will come out to be 2 okay is it correct had you written the answer in the chat yes this is not correct and the answer will come out to be 11 so it is 0 2 0 and 11 so these are the moments which we found let us see what our question number 2 says so we have to use the following data we have to calculate the moment and we this time we have to calculate the moment at 25 that is our arbitrary point a is 25 okay now this time this one is class interval let us move on and uh, write the class intervals it is from 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30 and 30 to 40. So students when there is a variable is given in the form of a class interval, how do we find the value of x? If I say it is x, if I had written here x, I, we can write here x1. If not then I will replace this x here. So, how do we find the value of x using the midpoint? Okay. 
so we'll find the midpoint here so here also i'll change it as variable okay so midpoint is 5 15 25 and 35 let us write the value of f frequency it is 1 3 4 and 2 and since we have to find since we have to find the mean at a is equal to 25 so what do we do is x minus 25 and this will be this time let us change the scale and we can change scale by dividing it by 10 okay so if you do this x minus 25 so it is 5 minus 25 divided by 10 so it is minus 2 minus 1 0 and then 1 in order to find the first moment what do we find fd why do we find fd students because suppose i have to find mu 1 dash it is basically sigma f x minus a upon sigma f so students since you can see i am using x minus a here and here i am writing x minus a upon h that is 10 h that is 10 so there will be change in formula and the change in formula will be sigma f x minus a upon obviously sigma f multiplied by the h why h because you can see we have change here we have divided by h so there is a change in formula okay let us move on let us find fd so fd is minus 2 minus 3 0 and 2 why did i change this formula why if i do not change can i not be able to solve it yes we can able to solve it but the numbers here the number here which we are getting might be like 20 minus 20 minus 30 so on so in order to reduce this calculation this is a very good way so let us find fd square so it is 4 3 0 and 2 similarly fd cube it is minus 8 minus 3 0 and 2 similarly we have to find fd to the power 4 it is 16 3 0 and obviously 2 let us find the sigma value and sigma fd is equal to minus 3 similarly sigma fd square which will come out to be 9 similarly sigma fd cube which will come out to be minus 9 and the last one that is sigma fd to the power 4 which is required to find the fourth moment it is 21 okay so you have seen there is a change in formula see we have changed the origin uh, change the scale here and we divided it by 10 and the number which with which we had divided we multiply it with the same number so h here is 10 okay so the formula this time will be fd upon capital n which is equal to which is nothing but sigma f multiplied by h okay so fd is this is minus 3 i am going to put here minus 3 so minus 3 what is sigma f let us find that also sigma f and you will find it to be 10 so minus 3 upon 10 into what is h h is r also 10 so answer is minus 3 mu 1 dash is equal to minus 3 let us move to mu 2 dash and this is f d square upon sigma f here we here we had written n so we can write here as capital n also and this time by f square this is the change in formula and this is easy to check it out also so what is f d square f d square is 9 so i am putting here 9 9 upon 10 into 100 so the answer is 90 let us move on to mu 3 dash and it is sigma fd cube sigma f h cube what is sigma fd cube it is minus 9 
okay so we'll write here minus 9 upon 10 into 10 cube 10 cube is 1000 so it is minus 900 what is mu 4 dash it is sigma fd to the power 4 upon sigma f into h to the power 4 what is fd to the power 4 this is 21 okay we'll write here 21 21 upon 10 into 10 to the power 4 and this will come out to be this one so this are required answer students we got mu 1 dash mu 2 dash mu 3 dash and mu 4 dash if you still have any query please ask it in chat and if there's still any question which is to be solved write that question also